Hey everybody, this is Lee. This is my first update video. Um, I wanted to answer some questions around the tank tread video that people had. Uh, hopefully this addresses those. And I'll go into more detail on how I created that and give you some update on how I would do it now versus how I would do it then. Uh, and they're not much different, but we've made some updates that I think will improve things. So I'm going to start off just by creating a simple curve. This was one thing that people had questions about. And I'm doing that just by creating a NURBS circle under the Create menu. This gives you a circle that can be used for all kinds of things. In particular, if you go to the History and go down to the Sections, you can actually turn this down, the sections down to uh, a low number, a low value, and set this to linear and you can easily get a triangle, a square, uh, and some other geometric shapes that are a little bit uh, more rigid than a circle. For our purposes, I'm going to turn this up to 18, and we'll set this back to cubic, and you can see if I go into uh, component mode, you can see all the points that get surrounded my circle, or that make up my circle. I'm just going to soften this up a little bit, and I'm going to use my symmetry to... Oop, let's grab that. One more time. Uh, we'll use symmetry to change the location of some of these guys. I'll also use soft select and try to get something that looks a little bit more along the lines of the shape of a tra tank tread. So move these guys up just a little bit and let's not scale these but move them a little bit. And just like that we get something that looks somewhat like a tank tread. So what I'm going to do with this is use my J key and use my rotate manipulator to snap that into position 90 degrees and I'm going to create a simple object that will act as my tread. I usually like to use simple objects as I've mentioned in the past because I can replace them later on which is what I'll show you in a second. So just like that we get our default distribution. I'm going to go to my mash waiter and create a curve node and then just drag that original curve directly into my input curve section which is right here. So this is what you get by default. You get 10 objects, the lead object is traveling around the circle and then because of this default distribution node uh, it has this distance that I'm going to dial down. Now this could be cool if you added a trails node you could get some interesting motion graphics effects but I want to turn this down and under my mash curve node I'm going to increase the step to one so that those points travel all the way around the curve. From there I'll increase the number that make up the network and you can see this is basically what created the tread that uh, I created in the first uh, video. So to fix this or to make it look a little bit better we could do one of two things. We could replace the object which I'll do in a second or if you wanted something super simple we could just take this original cube and unhide it and just scale it basically to encompass the area that we want. So we'll thin it out and model it and there's my tank tread. So we could go a little bit further. I'm going to turn symmetry off. I'm going to right mouse button click on the cube and pick one of these faces and I'll extrude it. We'll offset that just a little bit. I'll hit my G key and increase the thickness and you can see that there is my tank tread. Now in the first video we had an orientation problem that we fixed with a secondary aim curve and if you go into the mash waiter or the mash network you can see I have that aim curve here. In this case I don't have the problem. We fixed a bug with orientation that seems to have ironed that out. If I wanted to change the location of the tread I could just rotate my tread part around and get that result or if I did in fact want the orientation control I could just duplicate the original curve scale it up go back to my curve network and just like I did in the first video we'll just drag that into the aim curve now by default you're not going to get any motion it's not going to orient itself properly so I need to go down to my roll amount and increase that to one and just like that we have that control over the motion so that's pretty cool but what I want to do is replace this cube with something a little more detailed. I actually have a piece of tank tread that I used for the first video and I imported that into the scene and if I go to my mash repro node all I have to do is drag and drop that entire group. This is made up of several different pieces. I can drag and drop that group into my repro mesh object list and middle mouse button drag and drop that on top of the tank tread and that just like that swaps it out and as I rotate this around you can see that I get my tread rotating. Now I think it's kind of hard to tell in the video this is maybe rotating in the wrong direction it doesn't matter if I want to have it rotate in the opposite direction under my animation speed we'll just change that to a negative value 
and now you can see that we get some rotation that we like. So that is an update to the tank tread video and hope everyone found that to be a useful update. Thanks a lot.